Hello students, I am Narsim Lu, Commerce teacher. Today, in this video, I am going to teach you CC second year accountancy unit 2 consignment accounts part 2 2 important terms in consignment. So in this video, I am going to explain the important terms that we use in consignment business while doing consignment accounts. So <clears throat> let's we start. Consignment. Important terms in consignment. Dear students, one two marks question definitely will come in the annual examination from the topics that I cover in this video. So whatever the terms you are going to learn from this video will be useful to score or to get two marks in the annual examination. Definitely one question will come for two marks. Let's uh, you observe here. First one, first term that is consignor. In the last video, I already explained who is called as consignor. The same here, I will explain the person one who sends goods to the agent for sale on commission basis is called the consignor. Here in the consignment business there will be two parties one is consignor and consignee. So consignor is a person one who sends the goods on consignment to the consignee is called as consignor. The person one who sends the goods to another person is called as consignor. <coughs> okay, next second term that is consignee. He is an agent who sells the goods on commission basis on behalf of the consignor. So, as we learnt in the previous video, the relationship between consignor and consignee is as a principal and agent a relationship. So, here consignee is acts as an agent who sells the goods on commission basis on behalf of the consignor. So here, consignee sells the goods on behalf of consignor. For that, he gets some commission. Okay. Consignee is a person to whom the goods, consignment goods are sent is known as consignee. Right. Next term, you can go to see. Goods sent on consignment. So, it is the third term important term goods that are sent on consignment is called goods sent on consignment it's very simple whatever the goods we are using in the consignment business that is that uh, goods are called as goods on consignment okay three terms we completed here one is consignor another is Consignee. The third one is goods sent on consignment. Next, we can go to see here. Types of commission in consignment business. So, it is an important topic. 
which is uh, very very important for you and you need to understand that is types of commission given to consignee in consignment business so what are the commission here commission is the amount payable to consignee for selling the goods so here consignee sells the goods on behalf of consignor for that he gets the commission and that commission is payable by the consignee to consignor consignor to consignee here there are three types of commission how many types of commissions are there three types of commission what are the first one ordinary commission second one del credere commission third one overriding commission here the consignor pays these three types of commission to consignee on different cases or we can go to say in different cases on different situations let's we uh, uh, understand one by one what is ordinary commission what is delegated commission what is overriding commission first one we can go to see the ordinary commission so ordinary commission means uh, generally we pay this commission on total sales made by the consignee or we can go to calculate the ordinary commission on the sales that made by the consignee see here it is generally paid as a percentage on sales it does not cover the risk of bad debts here ordinary commission we can go to calculate on the total sales of the consignee at an agreed rate of agreed ag agreed rate of commission or agreed percentage of commission so here this commission is a general commission or it is an ordinary commission so we we can't put any conditions for calculation of this commission so we simply calculate as per agreement okay so you uh, it's very we can also say uh, it is also be called as general commission ordinary commission okay this commission can be calculated on the total sales made by the consignee and come to next one delegatory commission what does it mean delegatory commission so this commission or we can say it is an additional commission that is given by the consignor to consignee for taking the risk of arising bad debts on credit sales so generally the consignee sometimes the goods may be sold on credit basis at the time there is the chance to arise bad debts here to bearing the losses arising bad debts on credit sales for that the consignor gives additional commission to the consignee so this commission is called as delegatory commission simply we can say in uh, other words it is the additional commission given to consignee for bearing the losses arising in credit sales okay see here this commission is given to the consignee to cover the risk of loss due to bad debts if this commission is given the consignee is responsible for the losses that arise on account of bad debts so 
overriding commission will be given to the consignee only when he accepts to bear the loss which arises uh, on the account of bad debts okay students i hope you understood del what is delicatory commission next third one that is overriding commission overriding commission it is an extra commission granted when consignor wants his agent to put extra hard work to increase the sales especially in case of new products it will be calculated on total sales so overriding commission is also an additional commission that is given to the consignee by the consignor for taking extra efforts or putting extra efforts in the sales of consignment goods so here he has to work hard to sell the consignment goods consignee sometimes he should take some extra burden to sell the consignment goods for taking this extra burden or extra efforts by the consignee so the additional commission is given by the consignor to consign and this extra burden will be taken by the consignee only when the new product is introduced in the market so whenever the consignor introduces a new product in the market then the consignee has to take some extra burden means the consignee has to explain the qual about the quality features and uh, other um, things about the product to customers for that the consignor gives extra commission to consignee for putting his extra efforts in the sale in the sale of consignment goods such commission is called as overriding commission uh, students here i think you understood the three types of commissions one is ordinary commission and second one delicatory commission and third one overriding commission and next one statements prepared in consignment so in the consignment business two statements are important which are prepared by the both the parties in the consignment a business so what are those statements we can go to see here the first statement is account sales it is an important term students sometimes you will get a two marks question account sales it is a statement a prepared by consignee and sent it to consignor on periodically or regular on regular intervals so here see consignee sends the statement periodically to the consignor this statement is called account sales the statement contains the particulars of sales expenses in incurred commission charged advance given and the net amount is sent along with the statement so these are the points which are mentioned in the account sales account sales is a statement which is prepared by the consignee and sent to the consignor on regular intervals maybe monthly or quarterly or yearly or annually so if this statement contains or includes what the statement includes you see here 
sales the details about sales and expenses incurred means here uh, total sales made by consignee and total expenses made by the consignee and commission payable to the consignee advance already given to the consignor and the net amount due is sent along with the statement so these are the details that are included in the account sales okay students i hope you understood here account sales let me ask you two to three questions the who prepares the account sales is consignee prepares the account sales to whom it is uh, it is sent is it is sent to consignor what it includes it includes sales details expenses details and uh, commission details advance payment details and net due details will be uh, given in this statement okay uh, account sales account sales is the statement which is prepared by the consignee and sent to the consignor on regular intervals it is uh, uh, it includes it contains the particulars of sales expenses incurred commission charged advance given or advance payment and net amount is sent along with the statement next come to the next one next statement that is pro forma of invoice it is one more statement <coughs> uh, here account sales is prepared by the consignee here pro forma of invoice it is also one statement which is prepared by the consignor and sent it to the consignee along with the consignment goods okay here pro forma invoice is a statement which is prepared by the consignor and sent to the consignee along with the consignment goods it contains or it includes different uh, details about the product it tells details about the product so what the, what uh, is given here you observe in consignment uh, consignor prepares the pro forma invoice and sends it to consignee along with the goods sent on consignment the pro forma invoice contains price of the goods expenses mode of transportation etc okay these are the things that included in the pro forma invoice so these are the important terms we use in the consignment business while we recording accounting transactions in consignment accounts so what the things we learnt from this video is first one consignor consignee goods and on consignment and types of commissions ordinary commission delicatory commission overriding commission and statements that we prepare in the consignment business one is account sales another is pro forma invoice these are the uh, things you learnt in this a uh, video and one question definitely will come in the annual examination for two marks i hope children you understood all important terms that we use in consignment a business thank you for watching this a video